Hi, everybody. This is Paul Bryan of UX Strat. Today, I'm talking with Veronica G, who is the senior strategist at Frog, uh, responsible for innovation strategy and design strategy. Hi, Veronica. Welcome to the Stratosphere. Hi. Hi, Paul. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Veronica. Nice to, to meet you today. Well, Veronica, um, can we start off with uh, you telling us a little bit about your current role at Frog? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm a senior strategist at Frog. I base in Milan today. So in Milan today, we have uh, around 50, 60 people, but we work uh, across the, the globe with different Frog studios. So around 14 studios. So as a senior strategist at Frog, I normally uh, work with cross-discipline teams um, in a design um, innovation projects and also sometimes like a business innovation projects. So we, we work together with a client to define what kind of new product strategy should we take, what kind of go-to-market strategy should we take, you know, uh, thinking both the user-centered uh, needs and also the business success criteria. Sure. Yeah. Well, Frog is famous for that. Um, and you have a talk coming up at the XD conference at the end of this month, which is about innovations and experience design. What are you going to be talking about there? Yeah, uh, I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to talk about uh, design the smart home into the mainstream. So um, in how what how do I come up to this into this mainstream topic? Because we see you know a lot of IoT producers and designers are uh, launching a lot of IoT products to the market, but each of them are quite siloed. You know, the, um, the IoT producers, they actually are working on different products or even different features into small teams, but the, the products they, they launched for the user are not connected so well between each other. So the users are buying one product after another and um, supposed to use one feature <laughs> after another. But thinking about the users at home, they actually want to have a smart home as a complete product, not like a one plus one plus one plus one. So that's why we say, you know, the mainstream should be, you know, user don't need to think that much and everybody can adopt this smart home concept as as much as possible and as easy as possible. Sure, well, my research shows that there's lots of products like um, smart locks, smart lights, um, maybe some security systems, uh, but it doesn't go too far beyond that. So what kinds of things are you gonna be talking about? Sure, um, so we, since at Frog, we do a lot of user research and um, the, uh, the research with some subject matter experts. So I, I was very fortunate. Um, over the last two years, I've worked with three teams across uh, three different regions, uh, US, China, and Europe. And uh, so through this different rounds of, of research, we found there are some, some interesting, uh, surprising use cases user created for their <laughs> smart home you know so from some iot producers for example they launched some surveillance camera for the home so the intention for the product was to do the safety and the surveillance but then during our research we found out users are not only using that for the surveillance users are using that for other purpose they use it for um Bonding the relationship with their family members. They use it as a walkie-talkie at home. It's very surprising and also gives us a lot of uh, indications, say, you know, what if, what if you know, we can create our own smart home in a more um, Lego building way, like we craft our own and make our own smart home like as easy as possible. That sounds really cool. I'm eager to hear about that. Uh, it must have been kind of fun going to those different geographies, China, the US, Europe. Did you get to do much of that traveling yourself? Uh, well, I, I, as I said, I was very lucky to take on this kind of 
role, this kind of job as a strategist, but also take on some uh, researcher role. So I think uh, since I'm, I'm, I'm from different backgrounds, um, like as what, where I'm now living, I'm originally from Asia and now living in Europe. So um, this kind of cross-culture background gives me a lot of sensitivity and um, the lenses when I look at different, different um, uh, use cases or different uh, research topics. I think that, that was a uh, bless. And um, I, I do this a lot. So I do this also with other, other colleagues. So not I'm a strategist. Sometimes I work with the service designers, interaction designers, visual designers. So the good thing about this cross-disciplinary team is each of us come to this topic with certain um, expertise. And each of us actually are looking at the same like smart home design topic with, with different purposes and a different um, angle. And with this different angle, we can uh, synthesize together and bring up some new innovative ideas together and also uncover something we couldn't see uh, by our own. Sure. Yeah. Well, I guess um, one of the advantages of being at Frog for that is if you were at a equipment manufacturer, you'd kind of have to find what's the application for our equipment in a smart home. But being Frog, I guess you were able to say, no, what do people actually want their smart home to do? Yeah, exactly. I think that's why a lot of clients come to us. So um, clients, you know, they have a lot of product development roadmaps. And quite often, the, the, the near-term um, product roadmaps are already defined. But when we're looking at the future, so they would like to know earlier uh, in order to compete and to win in the next five to 10 years, mm -hmm. what kind of actions should they um, take now? What kind of user trends should they uh, focus on and pay attention to? Well, it sounds very exciting. I'm looking forward to your talk at the end of this month. Thanks for talking to me today. Thank you, Paul. And um, uh, I also very enjoyed this, this chat. I'm also very looking forward to this event by end of the month.